all were doing slow kirtan. I went there and she me, she began to be, and he took, took my hand in his hand and told that if you succeed on my way. But I did run and another chair was given. I 
And he said, you have to know all this for a money, all these money, so that you can preach strongly and glorify Shiva Prabhupada in this way. The first verse he quotes is Aradhyo Bhagavan Rajesha Tamaya Saddhamo Vindavanam Ramya Parajiva Pasanam Vajabhadu Varmiya Varapodhita Shemaya Bhagavatam Pramanamam Prema Pramatamam Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamiyam Tantradam Naparam Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, according to Shri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, says that my only worshipable deity is, my only worshipable, Aradhya Bhagavan, is Rajesha Tamiya, the son of Nanda Maharaj, the son of Yasoda, and his dham, Hirgala dham, which is not different from him, is also my worshipable deity. Not Krishna in Gopa, not Krishna in Mathura, but Krishna in Vrindavan is the son of Mali Yasoda, who came out weeping cat and, and couldn't even roll over without her help. That Krishna, who is defeated by Subhala Chakra and Sridham in their wrestling matches. That Krishna, who offers his head at the feet of Srimad Radhika. That Krishna, who I wish you And the process of worship that I adopt is that which, as Shri Prabhupada said in his own words, has been manufactured. The Bhargain and Jacobita has been manufactured by the Gopis. And what is the evidence of this? Srimad Bhagavatam. Because Krishna himself says in the Bhagavatam that your devotion to me, he says the Gopis, your devotion to me is so great that I have no capacity to repay it. Even if I have a lifetime of Brahma, I will not be able to repay it. So, Shuvisna Chakravarti Thakur says, this is the teaching, the Vani of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the opinion of Mahaprabhu, and I have no interest in hearing of his opinion. Shiva Prabhupada quoted this verse so many times in his books and lectures. Even at the very beginning of the Shrimad Bhagavatam, uh, in the Aurobhata Gita, in the preface, he quotes, the second Guru Mahatma is J. Dogarka Namarjanam Baba Mahatma Bhagavan Nirvagana. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this Sri Shikshasiva is his great contribution. Nobody could think like this before he came. Namnamakari Baba Gavani Dasarva Shakti. So many devotees brought the name and preached the name and sang the name, like the Lord Maharaj got his fellow students to chant. Ram Chandra gave them, Vavikhi gave us Ram Nam also. But as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, the Lord has so many names, which has the power according to the form. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave Vadakhan, Vadaraman, Gopinath. So in Mahaprabhu's teaching of the name, he gives what no other incarnation or chari ever gave before since the last previous day of Brahma when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself gave the same thing. That is, he gave the same Sneha, Man, Rav, Amirav, Bhav, Mahabhav, and even touching of Madhimati Mahabhav to be able to serve Shimati Radhika in her happiness, state and happiness, and her sadness, state of sadness. And Srinada Vishnichita. So many devotees were humble, but Bhavad Maharaj was so humble. He tolerated the beatings of his father. But nobody is so humble like Srimati Radhika and the Gopis, as explained in Vedic in Gopi Deeds. And this is the practical humility that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to hear of. I don't want any beautiful husband or wife. I don't want any wealth. I don't want any followers. What do I want? The bhakti that is in the heart of Srimati Radhika and her nature, that bhakti I want to serve. So she sent him a Mahaprabhu through Shikshatrava, gave that highest love. And then the other verse, an artist should be Shrimati Radhika, and I was so close. So Mark, when he comes, that over there is an answer to bhakti sriyam. 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu again, he came to me with no other inclination, or actually, as a priest, for a long, long time, for billions and billions and billions of years. Since the previous day of Ramana, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came himself, and what love did he come to give? What love did Shri Prabhupada come to give? Puna Ocho Rasam. So what love did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give? He came to taste. The love of Shimati Radhika, which was his Krishna and the mood of Shimati Radhika, with her reflection. And he came to give uh, Svabhakti Sriya, the treasure. That treasure is locked. And only in his followers, Shalupa Goswami and his followers, is that treasure house, that Sriya, that Sopa, that beauty. The beauty of the creeper. Shimati Radhika is the creeper. Krishna is the tree, and Radhika is the tree creeper that is wrapped around or embracing that tree of Krishna. And the gopis are the so many leaves and flowers and fruits and trees. And when the air plays with the creeper, then the leaves dance and the flowers dance, and everybody is happy along with the creeper. When the uh, B comes to sit on the manjuris, the manjuris sway back and forth, no, no. So she said, Mahaprabhu came to give that Kaisat Bhava to Shatika, that following of Sri Rupa Manjuri. And Sri Prabhupada also, he said in the preface of his nectar of instruction, that the Krishna consciousness movement is founded under the supervision of Sri Rupa Goswami. All Gaudiya Vaishnavas are followers of Shri Rupa Goswami and Shri Radhanatha Goswami. And therefore, the, one of the greatest Gaudiya Vaishnavas, Shri Radhanatha Goswami, prays. This is all in Shri Prabhupada's preface. He prays, Rupa Radhanatha Pade Koyve Ahuti, Kavi Hama Pujivase Jugala Activity. When will I take in mind that I can understand the loving affairs? of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna and their associates through the literatures of Sri Rupa Goswami and Radha Das Goswami and all the Goswamis. Another Gauravani that Sri Prabhupada spread in all of his lectures, his letters, and all of his books is the establishment of that verse by Sri Bhakti Vinodhapur, Avnaya Brahma, Tadvam Adeya Dina Parayam, that those Vedic literatures that are accepted by the Guru Prampara coming through Lord Brahma and then the Madhvacharya through Madhya Jipuri to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted by the six Goswamis and their followers, that is accepted as the evidence for the absolute truth. And what is that absolute truth? That Krishna, Prajnananda Shamsunda, is the supreme absolute reservoir of all incarnations of all the worlds and the world of all lords. Moreover, he is the reservoir of all pleasure. He is the embodiment of all transcendental mellows. All living entities, whether conditioned or liberated, are his parts and parcels. Those who are conditioned are under the influence of Maya, and those who are liberated are free from Maya and serve to the Lord. The living entities and the material energy are all simultaneously one with and different from him. The only process to achieve him, the only sadhana, is pure devotional service. And the ultimate goal of that sadhana is sweetly, or transcendental love, on the level of Lord Shabhi. So Shilabhati Manatakar says, this is the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to the fortune of living entities. And then Gurudev said, he had me speak up in the Badger. What is that Gurudev that I'm sure the prophet can teach? And then I thought, I was, I was saying this. He started saying, and Gurudev is the uh, Rathiyatra Prasanna, the subject matter of Rathiyatra, which is so exalted, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is reliving Srimati Radhi and Gopis meeting Krishna at Kurukshetra. And within that, they're functioning where Vrindavan is established as so far superior to the world or any other world, and the Gopis are established as far superior to the queens, who are the nothing but the expansions of Srimati Radhika. 
Then he called out, and why women on the subway? That is also for a money. Within why women on the subway, she arrived on another so she from the Mahaprabhu that only by the um, mercy of the sattvis can Radha and Krishna's pastimes be nourished and can they be broadcast all over the world. So we see that Srila Prabhupada established a commentary Tamita, not only in English, with the commentaries of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasuddha Thakur and Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his own divine commentaries, but he had it translated in you know, over 50 languages all over the world, as he did with Srimad Bhagavatam. He established Jagannath worship all over the world, first in San Francisco in 1967 in January, he went to San Francisco and he engaged even smokers in uh, one smoker and his wife in uh, carving the first Jagannath. And he even used Jagannath's head as an ashtray for the cigarettes. But Prabhupada knew how to engage everybody. And so then the second set of Jagannath is made by that same devotee who was sent to New York. And then Prabhupada came after Lord Jagannath came. And he even ordered me, uh, just at LSD, just coming out of LSD meeting and the whole lot, and to organize the Rocky Island Festival in New York City and even drew a black truck with Lord Jagannath in his stick figure drawing. So Prophet established Rathi Yatra in all the major and minor cities of the world. Why? So that in the beginning they're pulling the card and saying, Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jagannath is coming, I am about to God, you it to me. But then why? So that they can come to read the Rathi Yatra pastimes in the Chase and the Cherry Pointer. And then they can come to read the Rathi Yatra pastimes then we had Bhagavad Tamil to us and Akhil Goswami. And then finally we developed the love of the followers of the Gopis, which is the original reason Jagannath appeared. So Srila Gurudev gave a little hint about the um, disappearance stage of Srila Prabhupada. So Prabhupada disappeared from our physical vision exactly 30 years ago today. And Srila Gurudev was giving a class in 1992 at our uh, June Beach Temple, this uh, June Beach Temple in Bombay. He was explaining how Srila Prabhupada is just like a mountain, because the mountain is so high, and anyone without any qualification can see the height of a mountain. But the depth of the mountain underneath the ground is very difficult to see. So how high was Srila Prabhupada? He brought hundreds and thousands of millions of uh, Elizabeth Jets Congress, meetingers, wine drinkers, all the bad habits, uh, hippies, debauchies, and brought them to the uh, door of Bhakti. He established hundreds of temples. He, as Shri Gurudev just explained, he uh, translated and wrote commentaries to, and translated the commentaries in the previous Ajayi of 12 volumes of Srimad Bhagavatam and 17 volumes of Jason and Cherry Tamita. And the Hindi uh, publication group can identify with this because Gurudev is always pressing one book a week, one book a week, and why is my core of an addition to you already? Gurudev is coming from Dorsey. Similarly, Shiva Prabhupada has uh, published 17 volumes of Jason and Cherry Tamita and two volumes of the fifth canto of Shima Bhagavatam in two months, and when the devotees told him that it's impossible, Prabhupada said, impossible is a word only in a fool's dictionary. So Gurdjie is explaining that it's more easy to see the height, and he established so many miracles, and brought so many children from materialistic homes to become devotees. And Prabhupada took their hand in his own hand, and had them write A, B, C. And he fed him to Shana with his own hand. So this is the height of the mountain. But what is the depth of the mountain that Prabhupada came to give this very, very deep Koramani, this Unat Ovala Sansu Bhakti Sriya? And Gurudev explained how Prabhupada, you were just heard, he ordered Gurudev to give him Samadhi. So even in Samadhi, what does that Samadhi mean? Gurudev said, Prabhupada understood what is the meaning of Samadhi. Sama means the same. 
and decrease uh, intelligence. So Prabhupada, by entering Samadhi, was entering, of course he was already in it, just like Buddha explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam when he was teaching the Guru <coughs> on the Guru's request. It's explained in the Bhagavatam that Buddha has uh, simultaneously present in Goloka Vrindavan and simultaneously present on the earth. So similarly, Shiva Prabhupada is present always in Goloka Vrindavan, the Kunji Jorna Reddy is in Sinai, and also present on his earth simultaneously. So, what does it mean, Samadhi? That means he's entering, although he's already there, Samadhi means that he's entering into that same mood as the main servant of Srimati Radhika, headed by Srila Goswami. Sometimes, so, uh, given Samadhi, he stood on ambulance, and Samadhi Mantra that he refused to tell anybody about what those Samadhi Mantra were. Sindhu stands for the so many things to decorate him, to enter into Srimati Radhika's punch, to do the Sindhu death service. So, Shilaguru, they said, if I can give one atom of that true conception of him to the world, I'll consider that my very best service to the world. They said, I told me to preach to his followers, but I thought, how can I preach? There's so much more advanced than me. But then I heard that they were saying that he's a coward boy, and he thought, now I know what my mission is, to give the full conception of Shilaguru, and if I can do that, the greatest service of the spiritual master is to assist him in his service to Sri Rupa Mantri. And if I can do that then in this world for his followers and those who will become his followers, I'll consider that my greatest service. So if you want to
Thank <laughs> you.